We're back. We're about to eat a cocoa van, and we typically have this on Easter, but we're having it a little after Easter, Easter since we were busy shooting wine videos for our viewers. So, cocoa van, uh, a classic dish from France uh, where they've taken something that is less than wonderful to eat, which would be an old rooster, right? Coq au vin, rooster with wine. And so uh, we don't have any roosters in our local uh, supermarket, so we have chicken with wine. We're being a little uh, sexist here. Um, and the dish has in it uh, red wine. You marinate the chicken with uh, red wine, usually an unoaked red wine. We used a uh, coturon uh, with herbs. So we got from our garden rosemary, thyme, sage, and lavender, uh, some onions, some garlic. And after we marinated the chicken for a number of hours, we then uh, poured the liquid into a pot and we boiled it down. You want to blow off the alcohol. You don't want the alcohol in, in the dish. Uh, then we added back the chicken and some pearl onions and finally some mushrooms. Cooked that in the oven and this is what we have. It's actually a very, very delicious and a very uh, wine-friendly dish. Now again, uh, if somebody's into the wine and food pairing, that's great. I am. It's a way that we can explore flavors. If somebody wants, no matter what somebody wants to drink with this dish, they buy it at a restaurant, God bless, drink whatever mm -hmm. you want. Do you have any recommendations for people yeah. who like to? I mean, I mean, a classic know? pairing for this would be uh, either red burgundy, which is Pinot Noir, or uh, Rhone wines, especially Southern Rhone wines. So something like Chateauneuf de Pop, or Gigondas, or mm -hmm. Cote de Rhone, depending upon your budget, mm -hmm. though this would be fine with a whole range of red wines. Rosé wines would, would work with it. Uh, I'd say a bolder, heavier white wine with it, but uh, more of a red or rosé wine dish. But why don't we take a taste and then we'll run through the wines, mm. have a little fun. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Tasting wines makes me hungry, ferociously hungry. Well, it opens up your appetite, doesn't it? Does. It does. It stimulates, the acid stimulates your appetite. There's also a little anise in this dish. Mm. You taste it. You like? I do. Mm -hmm. I do. So the food makes me thirsty for one. So I'm going to try a little of the Sanford Pinot with it. It was very nice. Easy, delicious. Mm -hmm. The food has very strong flavors and overpowers the pinot a little bit, but still, it's a, it's a very nice, nice combination. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Me too. Okay, let's try something else. With this COVID thing, one thing that I really miss is dining in restaurants. And I look forward to, mm -hmm. again soon, dining in restaurants. Now we got the Chateau de Pop. And for me, that's heaven. The two of these, better than the Pinot Noir? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's a, a bolder wine, stands up to the Flavors. bold flavors of the food. And the Garrigue in the Chateau de Pop matches with the herbs mm -hmm. uh, in the dish. And the dish, which had been a bit tannic, uh, the tannins sort of go away and the wine t tastes silkier and better. So I like... I agree. I get it. I get it. I do. I can tell. Well, honey, I'm going to keep on making sure that you get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really yummy, huh? So now we're going to try it with the, the Silverado with the Cabernet mm -hmm. Sauvignon. Which again, would not have been my choice going into this, but it may be very delicious. 
That was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It works. Not as good as the Chateauneuf de not, Pop. Not as but... good as the Chateauneuf de Pop, but again, if I had friends over and I knew that one of them was the king of cab and that's what they really like drinking, I would make sure mm -hmm. I had a Cabernet Sauvignon on the table to make my friend happy. And also, it's, I, again, we like playing with the food and wine pairings. Shiitake mushroom here. Mm. Your mushrooms are great. Yeah. Mm. I love your shrooms. They do well in the wine. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. And it's also good, good with the ornaments, mm -hmm. right? It was much better with the food than on its own. Yeah. So on its own, the wine was tannic and tight, mm -hmm. right? And with the food, the wine opens up. There's much better fruit. It's rounder in the mouth. So they were all good, but it, my favorite is definitely the Chateauneuf de Pop. Chateauneuf de Pop, and it, and it may be different. You know, again, as we change the dish, mm -hmm. uh, the favorite wine changes. I mean, one yeah. thing is that if you have good wines, right, uh, they're going to be better with good food than bad wines are. Well, would bad wines be better than drinking water? Um, it all depends upon how bad the wines were. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but that said, uh, in summary, what we did is that we tasted four different wines that we'd purchased at Costco, uh, ranging in price from the mid twenties to fifty one dollars. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, and they were all very true to their type, which is nice. We then took a classic French dish, and we tried the ones with the classic French dish and the more classic pairing, which would have been the Chateau of the Pop, to both of us worked best, but all, all the other three wines all worked well as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so no bad choices. No bad choices, yeah, which is, mm -hmm. which is good. It's, always, it's nice in life when you have something that meets or exceeds expectations. So you have no bad choices. So I'm gonna to toast with the Chateau of the Pop. So until the next time, drink wine, <laughs> eat wonderful food, uh, be with friends, have mm -hmm. fun, give us a like. Comment and subscribe and please share with all your friends because when we have 50,000 viewers, Pat is going to let me throw a party. Party time, so please dude. Please do what you can to help us out. I really want a party. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.